the SB900 flash gun. It's a beast. Oh my goodness. Once I took a photo in the pitch black in the garden and it was like daylight. I mean, that it didn't just it didn't just light up what was right there in front. It lit up the entire garden. Unbelievable. This is a very, very powerful flash. And actually, I've got to be honest, for what I was doing, I found it too powerful and I didn't learn. I didn't take the time to learn how on earth to get the best out of this flash gun. When it turned up, <laughs> you're going to laugh because, you know, I always moan when um, cameras and kit don't have a, an instruction manual, right? I'm now going to moan that the instruction manual for this was so big, it was like as thick as the Bible. It wasn't quite as thick as the Bible, but it was really thick and it was just so daunting that I, I know it just, it was, it was too much information. So I never really got the hang of this. And John used to say to me, just focus on the TTL settings on here, right? When I'm taking a photo and I want a little bit of flash, I just want the easiest way to create just a little bit, just enough to fill in the shadows. Generally, I don't want to overdo it because I don't really like harsh flash. So, but with this, I kind of, there was so many settings on it that I, I almost just want, you know, something really simple and basic like low, medium, high or something like that. So what I did, to try and make it more user friendly for what I wanted, which again, as I say, is I only wanted the tiniest bit of fill in flash for when I'm working outdoors, really, mainly. Um, so what I did, I tried using these. There's a little diffuser there and then there's the piece of card where you can bounce the light off. I also tried bounce bouncing it off the ceiling but then the light's coming from a different angle so it's not always the best but I went to the photography show and I bought this diffuser thing um it's you you velcro it on and it's really good actually so you put it on like that and what this does what this does is because it's a bigger surface area than the little card thing that you already get in the SB900 that sticks out is um, because it's a bigger surface area, more of the light is spread more, do you see? So you're getting more of that softer light and then where it's got holes in it, you're allowing some of the light to disappear up there. So um, this really, really helped me to just find a bit of a happy medium of just a little bit of fill in flash um, but in hindsight I think I could have got away with a much much cheaper flash um, this was 330 pounds when I bought it and I think I didn't need all that I didn't I didn't need something quite as um, all singing and dancing I probably could have got something much cheaper as long as it's consistent that's all that really matters to me just consistent little bit of fill-in flash um, but yeah the Nikon Speedlight SB900 it's like main beams on a car absolutely very very powerful I did use it at a wedding once and I really really enjoyed using it in this way actually and um, so uh, what I did was I put a pocket wizard onto the flash and one on my camera and then I got somebody to go behind the bride and groom and just hold it up and then trigger the f and then take the photo and it was beautiful backlighting it was amazing my battery's about to run out on my vlogging camera so I'll say goodbye bye